Why you should stop buying crap. I'm Pat McMahon. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. The handle is at on air Pat. And also subscribe to my podcast on iHeartRadio. Just search for Pat McMahon, P-A-T-M-C-M-A-H-O-N. Just like Vince, just like Ed, just like Jim. According to a new survey, the average American adult experiences 131 days of boredom each and every year. That's about 60 plus hours a week of boredom. Why are we so bored? Uh, The main reason, entertainment costs. Uh, The average American spends $303 a month on fun activities or about $3,500 a year, which may seem like a lot to some, but when you think about how much fun things can cost, that's not so much. Another reason we're bored is we're just tired of adulting. 60% of people say their life is too grown up. 73% miss being a kid. A lot of people are, you know, missing spending time with friends. They miss having less responsibilities and going to just events like birthday parties and things like that. Look, life is, a lot of people say life is short. I don't know that life is short, but I do know that no one has time to waste their time. And living a miserable life is a stupid existence because you only have one of these things. At least that we know of, for sure. Now, I don't know if I can fix the adulting part of this equation and where you're tired of being an adult and that's what's leading to you being bored. Trust me, everyone misses the days of high school and college when your problems seem so small compared to what they are right now, right? There's nothing better than being in college for me. I went to Fredonia State, good school, lived my best life there, man. (laughs) Ran up a lot of debt. But I got to come and go as I pleased and do whatever I want and just have fun and enjoy myself. Now you're in the real world. Those days are over. And I feel like too many people see their lives as just empty or boring or too stressful or too adult. But the truth is, you're just not doing what you want to do. Part of that is because you're doing a job that sucks. And you may or may not be able to change that. You should be doing what you love to do, not because you'll never work a day in your life. That's not that's not true, actually. You should do what you want to do, do the thing you're most passionate about, because you will work 800,000 times harder than you ever would doing something you don't like, because you love doing it. That's why you find your passion in life. And finding your passion in life, trust me, you'll never be bored, because work won't be work, because you'll be doing the thing you want to do. That's easier said than done, especially if you have a family and you're trying to provide for them. Not everyone can just walk away from a job and do what they want to do because it doesn't make any money. So let me give you an alternative to how to live a less boring life. Stop buying crap. And you know you do it. You do it because two reasons. You're trying to fill a void of boredom. So you buy movies and you buy video games. And understand, I'm criticizing you. I'm guilty of every single one of the things I'm saying, or at least most of them. You buy junk. You go to Target, and I don't know about you, but I can't spend less than $100 in Target. I have no idea what I buy, but I seem to spend $100 or more every single time. You go on Amazon. You buy gadgets and doodads and stuff that, yeah, you would think would make your life easier. Then you use them once, and they go into a closet, and you waste your money on that. You buy crap to fill a void. That's one reason. The other reason you do it is to impress everyone else, and not just your friend. From your parents to your friends to your coworkers, you think you have to have the super nice house. You have to have a super nice car. You have to have nice clothes. Not good clothes, not nice looking clothes, the best clothes. You have to buy craft beer that's twice as much as the cheaper beer because that's what your friends are doing. You have to buy the full bottle of an expensive wine and a dinner to impress your friends that you're on a double date with. You have to, have to, have to, have to, have to. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because who cares what they think of you? Who cares what your house looks like? Who cares what car you drive when you're living a life you absolutely hate? Look, if you like those things, if you love having a nice house and you love having a BMW and you like having expensive alcohol and expensive clothes, well, that, if that's your thing, that's your thing. I'm not going to tell you not to do that thing. If that's what actually, truly, deep down makes you so happy, then you do it. But I know for most of you, That's not it. That isn't what makes you happy. You're doing it because you think it's expected of you, because you want people to respect you. You want people to think highly of you. I got news for you. They don't think highly of you. They're doing the same crap. They're buying things they don't need to impress you, and they're probably just as miserable, if not more miserable and more bored than you are. Stop buying crap.
Stop buying crap to impress people and stop buying crap to fill the void. Instead, take that money you would have used on a $70,000 vehicle, which you never needed. And by the way, for 30 or 40, you could have had a brand new car with all the trimmings and it would have been just as good, if not better. Nevertheless, take that money and go have fun. Some people will tell you to save it. That's not bad advice. But if you're really bored, take that money and go on that trip. Go to that concert. Go see a movie. Go see that friend you haven't seen in years and you miss desperately. Buy the VIP experience to that artist you've always wanted to see. Some people say that stuff's a waste. No. No, it's not. That stuff is the stuff you'll remember the rest of your life. That's the stuff that actually brings you joy. Not having matching fascia on your stupid house. Not spending hundreds of dollars on being kind there at Pottery Barn, making sure you have beautiful dishes for your Thanksgiving dinner that everyone's not going to care about anyway. And if they do, they're vain and who cares about what they think. Stop buying crap and start buying life. And I realize that sounds super cheesy because it is super cheesy, but often the best life advice is you have to accept it if you want it to happen. This is the advice that I'm following for myself. I'm asking you to follow it too because it's good advice and you know it is hashtag dump the junk i hope this motivates you in a good way if it does or doesn't leave your comments i'd love to hear from you and i want to give a big shout out to gary vaynerchuk gary v who's a big influence on me in this area he's made me see a lot of this by listening to his podcast and consuming his content on instagram and things like that so definitely give gary v a follow at gary v v e e and uh, i i really recommend what he's putting out there and i hope that my interpretation, my version of this uh, helps you like his version helped me majorly. Hey, I'd love if you'd follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. It's at On Air Pat is the handle. You can also find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash PM in AM so we can have more of a conversation about this and you can give me that love, that hate. I love it all.